welcome back to my channel. Ever since my mom and her glorious craft room moved to Texas, I have been feeling super inspired. So since Halloween is right around the corner, I have come together with a few fellow Kin community creators to bring you a trick or treat collaboration. For the playlist, which I'll have linked down below, is going to be full of DIYs, aka tricks, and recipes, aka treats, for you to enjoy this Halloween season. I'm going to be contributing a trick to this collab and showing you how to make this beautiful Halloween wreath. At the end of this video, be sure to check out all of the other channels, subscribe, go like their videos because they are all super awesome and I know you're gonna love each and every one. All right, so let's get crafting. For this project, you're going to need a foam wreath, a couple of packs of spider webs, some felt spiders, a few wooden letters, some dramatic false lashes, and some red glitter puppy paint. Before we get started on the wreath itself, I am going to arrange my letters so that I have them placed exactly where I want them. As you can see, I've spray painted these black. I just used a satin black spray paint and it was really easy. I just did two quick coats and let them dry overnight. Then I am going to use some Mighty Mend It to glue them together so that they all form one word. Now you're gonna set that aside so it has time to dry while you work on the rest. First, you're going to separate the spider webs into a couple of sections. Using a little bit of glue, attach one end and then begin wrapping around the wreath. This wreath is awesome because of the unfinished foam. It really just allows the web to cling to it so you hardly need any glue at all. As you're wrapping the webs around the wreath, make sure you're mapping out where you're gonna place your letters and be sure that they are thinner and flatter in that area. Once you've got your wreath completely wrapped, go around and pull apart any clumps to create some dimension. Now it's time to attach our letters. Be sure that they are good and dry before getting started on this part of the project. Because they're so heavy, I used some brads to attach them to the wreath. I used a hot glue gun and attached each brad to a few key places on the backs of the letters. Once the glue has dried, gently push the letters into the foam. The brads will act like little nails. Now that you have your letters in place, lay out the felt spiders along the opposite side of the wreath. Again, this is pretty awesome because the felt really clings to the webs and so hardly any glue is necessary. Once you've found the perfect homes for your spiders, place a small dab of glue on the back of each one and secure it to the wreath. Then you're gonna use your puffy paint to create little red eyes on each one. This next part is optional, but totally adorable. Place a thin strip of lash glue along each lash and secure them to the tops of the O's. Allow everything to dry overnight, then simply hang and enjoy your beautiful wreath. And that's it, so I hope y'all enjoyed this crafty little video of mine. If you decide to make this wreath or something inspired by it, be sure to share a picture with me on Twitter or Instagram at Glow of Grace. And don't forget to go check out the other videos and channels. Again, I'll have that all linked down below for y'all. And let me know in the comments what your favorite part of Halloween is. As a family, we collectively love Halloween like so much. It's one of my mom's favorite holidays. And this year is gonna be extra special because it's gonna be Chicky Nana's first Halloween and she has a really cute costume. So be sure you are following me on social media so that you'll be able to see what I'm dressing her up as. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you beautiful people later. Love ya. Bye.